Hey guys, how's it going? Tiers back again with episode number two of the Atletico Madrid career mode here on Xbox One. And I have to start this one off by saying a huge thank you to everyone that showed the first episode yesterday such tremendous support. As so I'm recording this around about five o'clock yesterday evening, uh, we're almost at 150 likes already. I did ask for 200. I have no, no, no doubts whatsoever that we will hit that on that episode. And uh, there's been so many suggestions as well. Over 50 comments already with transfer suggestions for the first team as well so i honestly hand on heart you guys have been absolutely superb showing this uh, career mode the uh, you know welcoming it welcoming it into life on the channel after the uh, the success of the chelsea career mode hopefully this one can go on from strength to strength as well now well, there's plenty of transfer stuff going on right now in this episode we've got uh, good well there's so much transfer stuff, I had to cut out one of the friendlies that I played. I, uh, I initially intended on, uh, on showing you gameplay from two of the, uh, of the three pre-season friendlies that we played in uh, this particular episode against Everton and Arsenal. But uh, there was so much transfer stuff went on before the Everton game that I had to cut the Arsenal game out of it and put it in tomorrow's episode. So, as you can tell, there's uh, definitely a lot of transfer stuff going on right now. And uh, we're putting bids in for a lot of... Uh, right back. So as you can see, we're putting a bid in here for Montoya from Barcelona. Also gone for Hugo Mayo from Celta Vigo and uh, put a bid in for Rafael as well from Manchester United. Three cent or right backs rather, three right backs. They've got a lot of potential for the next few years in career mode. I'm definitely hoping to make one of them my uh, my rotation right back along with Juan Fran because a lot of the defenders, Felipe Luis, Miranda and, uh, and Juan Fran are kind of 29 pushing 30. So they are going to start to drop in stats right, uh, you know, over the course of this first season. So we're going to need to uh, to replace them, not as soon as possible, but you know we're kind of going to fade them out over the uh, the course of the next 18 months or so in game. So we've had the offer and contract accepted for Rafael, stalled it for the time being, just to see what happens with uh, with Hugo Mayo and Montoya, and uh, we're trying to get Real Sociedad to accept this bid for Inigo Martinez. He's definitely one of the biggest up and coming centre backs in Spanish football right now. And like I said yesterday, I am trying to uh, stay a little bit more realistic and buy from within Spain. So we'll have to wait. And see what happens with that uh, Inigo Martinez deal. Obviously, Diego Costa is not going anywhere, at least for uh, this first season. I'm giving him a second shot after he failed to impress me at Chelsea. And, uh, of course, we rejected any offers that come in from him, even though they have been quite big. And another bid here for Adrian. He's going to be our rotation striker alongside uh, David Villa. And, of course, you would expect Adrian to uh, to replace David Villa over the coming 12 months or so, because, uh, unfortunately, Dave is getting on in years and his stats will start to drop, although he can still have a very, very big impact on uh, on this initial first season. His goals will be crucial, I think, for, uh, for the majority of the year in all competitions. So... Uh, I'm definitely rejecting all offers for Adrian as well. We only have three strikers as it stands. And with the default formation of the 4-4-2 with the two uh, holding mids as opposed to the two out-and-out -out centre mids, we, we definitely want to uh, to maintain at least three strikers to keep the rotation and the fitness uh, up there. But as you can see, we're stalling, continue, continuing to stall on uh, the right-back decision because uh, I want to see what happens with Montoya because he is my overall favourite of the three, I think. He, uh, he has the biggest potential of the three, and uh, of course, he, rather stereotypically in, uh, in FIFA terms, he is a little bit faster than the other two, and with his, uh, his pedigree as a Barcelona player, he is, of course, more suited to my personal style of play with the tic tac style football. I do like to play the, the short, intricate little passes, etc., so he would be my preference as a replacement right back. But finally, we've had the offer accepted by Real Sociedad, and we're throwing in a contract for Inigo Martinez to, uh, to hopefully bring him in to, uh, to make sure that we have three very, very strong centre-backs with... Uh, with Miranda, Diego Godin and hopefully Inigo Martinez as well. With Toby Alderweireld recently coming into the club and hopefully being a good rotation player. Again, another offer, this time from Real Madrid for, for Diego Costa. who's only valued at £13 million. I wouldn't even dream of accepting anything under 40 for Diego Costa, even at this stage. So uh, he's going nowhere. Again, trying to get a little bit of money for Mario Suarez if we possibly can. Because we do have an abundance of centre mids, especially considering I'm... Uh, thinking about bringing Koke in from the wing into a central role and buying a, a winger replacement. As you can see, we've made a decision with the right back, though. We are going to bring in Montoya from Barcelona. So we're rejecting the offers for Hugo Mayo and uh, and for Rafael. And uh, the young lad from Barcelona is coming in. And also the young lad from Real Sociedad is coming in as well. We bring in Inigo Martinez and Montoya on the same day. So uh, the first bit of pennies has been spent. And uh, we're bringing in some more players. Just shifting on a couple here, the youth players that... Uh, 
aren't necessarily high in ratings or high in potential we're moving on and then of course the the 73 rated 28 year old there is moving out if we uh, possibly can get a little bit of money for him and again rejecting another offer for Adrian so we're uh, the first friendly the only friendly of this particular episode after a full five minutes worth of transfer activity is against Everton now I fielded a very very strong starting 11 the uh, the initial starting 11 that uh, I had at the team and I was hoping for them to uh, to prove to me that they can cut it against one of the better teams in England not necessarily a team that you would consider to be one of the best in the country but of course Everton are still a very very strong side and it is a tough test regardless of the fact that we are actually at home we got off to a decent start they actually handball it there at uh, in the defence Diego Costa completely mucks up his uh, his attempt at the overhead kick but nonetheless we're going to get a penalty David Villa is superb from the penalty spot and even though the goalkeeper goes the right way he can't get anywhere near it and we do take an early 1-0 lead in this opening friendly now of course with the friendlies I'm not going to show you too much of, uh, of the overall highlights, mainly just the goals, because we want to get into this season proper as soon as possible, and don't want to waste too much time with uh, the the games that don't necessarily have an overall impact in a competitive sense. But it's nice to uh, to get a feel of how the team plays, and uh, it was into the uh, just uh, ten minutes later after uh, we were able to get ourselves a penalty and go one 0 up. Diego Godin with a really poor missed time challenge there, giving away a penalty of our own, and Leighton Baines smashes it straight down the middle to give them a uh, a comeback goal. We're one. 1 now after 25 minutes and that was how the game was going to finish it was a very very close game which in one sense is uh, is annoying that we weren't able to come out with a victory with our strongest team but at the same time uh, very very pleasing to uh, to put in a competitive display against a very very competitive team now in the next episode we'll have the uh, the remaining two friendlies against Arsenal and Augsburg and then this episode after that I, uh, I completely forgot about these until uh, until I actually went into the fixture list here. We've got the two Spanish Super Cup games. Of course, Atletico Madrid last season won the Copa del Rey and Barcelona won the league. So it's like the Charity Shield in England, although this time, of course, it's a double-legged uh, affair in Spain. So well, we've got that to look forward to, a massive test early on in the season. But so that's all for today, guys. So feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. If we could get hit over 100 to 150 again this episode, I'd be ridiculously appreciative to you for that. If you missed yesterday's episode and want to go back and check out the opening one, then there is an annotation on the screen over that, uh, that emblem there to the left. If you want to subscribe to the channel already and you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any of this new series, then feel free to hit the subscribe button. There's a link in the description and an annotation on the screen on the right hand side over that YouTube and subscribe emblem and of course feel free to follow me on Twitter as well at Chesnoy Gaming I do tend to bulk record this uh, career mode series this outside of transfer windows so uh, I do look for a lot of feedback on Twitter if uh, you know whilst I'm uh, whilst I'm recording not only with this series but with all of my series so if you want to keep up to date with everything that happens with me just have some some general Twitter bans then uh, feel free to follow me at Chesnoy Gaming over there but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow <laughs>